The bald eagle is making a comeback in New Jersey. The eagle population in New Jersey is amazing. It is growing at, uh, at a rapid pace. Um, when we look at the figures over the last uh, 15 uh, years or so, uh, the population is doubling every five years. Biologists from the Division of Fish and Wildlife, along with volunteers, locate and monitor nests and territories to determine eagle health and population. Today they're on a private farm site in Cumberland County. The first step, getting to the nest. We use spikes the first time we climb a nest because it's really the only way to do it. And uh, after that, we'll leave a rope. So in future visits, we just have to attach to the rope, pull it up over a branch, and then go up the rope. This nest, which is about 75 feet off the ground, contains two six-week-old eaglets. And they're seeing a human being for the first time. I love it. This is my favorite time of year. Uh, we band, and I get to... Now see the eagle eyes view from the nest. It's probably one of the most peaceful places uh, you can find. The nesting parents will circle around waiting for the temporary intruders to leave. Meanwhile, the eaglet is hooded to help keep the bird calm and then lower to the ground in a canvas bag. Zoologists then begin the process of collecting data. The first thing we do is weigh it before, while it's still in the bag, take a blood sample. Um, then we take uh, various measurements, a wing measurement for age, um, and then bill, measurements of the bill and the legs for uh, sex determination. Um, then we put uh, two leg bands on, so the federal band and the state band. The Endangered and Non-Game Species Program is funded by donations from the sales of conserved wildlife license plates, grants, and the state income tax checkoff. This bird was on the verge of extinction. It's come back now, it's made a great recovery, and due to a lot of the volunteers in the state, uh, a lot of hours spent with the volunteers, and it's nice to see that your work is producing some results. It's, it's a really, really satisfying, uh, gratifying thing to see um, when you can see eagles reoccupying areas that they were last in, you know, maybe 50 or 100 years ago.